guys, everybody breathe for me. Oh, you can't really see it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see that. I didn't really pick up with the camera that I could tell, but we are up bright and early this morning. It is like 7.30. Mom's been up since before six, I think. We left the house this morning early. We are at a walk. It's the Now I Can Walk. This is an annual tradition that we do every single year. Every year we come out and we participate in this walk for our, my nephew and their cousin. And it's one of our favorite things that we do as a full family every year. So we're the first ones here. We're waiting for everybody else to get here. We get all these fun matching shirts and then we go around this neighborhood and walk and talk and hang out. And it's a ton of fun. If you guys haven't seen the other videos from years past, check them out. I'll link them for you right now. And in the meantime, we're gonna get warm, we're gonna get ready for other family to arrive, and we're gonna get this walk started. <laughs> hey, Luli! <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody recognize this person? <laughs> Hazy, are you ready? Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Hazy's the only one comfortable and warm right now. But we're about to get warm. Guys, it's always a full family affair out here at this every year annual tradition. We got Brittany, we got Jared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got Papa, we got Mom. I don't know what she's doing right there. Neither does she. Are you on pace? Okay. Michelle's hoping to set a PB on this one. Yeah, PR, PR. Oh, sorry, I was thinking peanut butter. So she's. <laughs> peanut butter? They had peanut butter there? Peanut butter station? We got Luli, he's dominating right now. Hey, did you get scanned, bro? We gotta know your time. Did you get scanned? Yeah, where's the Cliff Bar station? Is that a runner thing? You can do it. Look at that. Yes, we can. That sounded like a political thing when I just did that. Woo! Yes! One mile! Go for it, go for it! What up, yo? In years past, we've done this walk every single year. We're always in the very back of the pack. It's a nice casual stroll. We come in dead last. This year, I literally had to get in the street to keep up with Lando. He's setting a personal best on this course and dominating the field entirely. Oh shoot, Justin caught up. Stroller. Go Lando, go! Nobody can stop you, bro! Not even kidding, I'm out of breath. The whole family's running outside the lines to keep up with him. Michelle passed out earlier, she's back. You got me some goo! <laughs> oh my gosh, somehow Mindy got in the road. Somebody must have lifted the stroller over into the street. Guys, not even kidding, we can't keep up with Landon right now. He's going so fast at the front of this thing. We are jogging down the middle of the street trying to catch my nephew Landon. We do this all the time. Oh. <laughs> hey girl, where are you going? <laughs> no joke. In the years past, what would you say it's taken like an hour plus to do? Oh, sorry, Rex, you good? Sorry, elbowed you in the head. No! Sorry. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> As I was saying just a minute ago, in the years past, it's taken us like an hour plus to get this done. It's been like five minutes and we're almost done. Landon is way too fast this year. Lando, dude, we're gonna be done. I, I, I blocked out my whole morning for this, dude. Really? <laughs> We've never been back where there's still donuts and bagels left. <laughs> really though, I feel like we're purposefully last every year so we can just kind of chill. Yeah. He's going so fast, we're gonna get it done in like 10 minutes this year. He was like mad he had to start the race because he really wanted to Be like first start. out of the gate. Yeah. <laughs> Lando's like basically sprinting. The entire mile, like he hasn't stopped. I'm exhausted. Go Lando, go! <laughs> like a gazelle! Lando, 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 Lando,
<laughs> my crew be do we're walking in the middle of the street right now against traffic. We could die, but it's worth it to get this interview. Crew, how do you feel three quarters of the way through your one mile walk? Fun. Are you freezing cold? No. Are you tired at all? No. Is your collarbone hurt? No. Oh good, because that was a long time ago, bro. <laughs> You're the best around. Go Nothing's gonna ever get you down. Go the finish is within your sights, Landon. Follow this guy right there. And that's how we bring them! Medals, medals! Hey, you gonna put this up with your triathlons and marathons? <laughs> you're down, you're down below me. But you're down here, I'm up here. You're down here, you're down. Mom, I want the- Mom's taking up a third or fourth job now. She's a balloon animal artist. <laughs> well, Brexit brought it to me broken, so I just did what I could with it and I made I love it, what did you make? It's very abstract. <laughs> Uncle B. So Dude, <laughs> best run of your life, bro. Pound it right here. It, Uncle B. Championship, yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna get a bagel? Yeah. A donut? Donuts over there. Mm -hmm. Wait, Did what? Save me one. Donuts? Oh, yeah. Donuts? <laughs> <laughs> maybe you guys can see where I get my affinity for donuts from. I said maybe you can see where I, <laughs> I heard donuts. <laughs> Might be a Bingham thing, I'm not sure. <laughs> donut donuts. Donuts, donuts where? Donuts. 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 <laughs> I didn't get to see you very much in the run because you were in the stroller all bundled up. Did you have fun? You get a sucker? You say hi. Hi. I hug you. I hug you? A daddy hug you? Say my daddy. My daddy. <laughs> Mm, that's right. Hazy, are you getting a balloon from Uncle Jared? No, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You say thank you? Oh, yeah. Killer run this morning for Lando. Guys, drop a thumbs up for Lando. That guy is incredible. He sprinted that thing. We've done that every year. You've got to go buy. Yeah, you've got to go back and watch the previous years to see the improvement over the years. It's mind-blowing. Yeah. Like, sometimes that walk would take us like an hour. We were in and out in no time today. Drop a thumbs up on this video. That was incredible, Landon. So, but on the way home, we happened to be passing by one of our favorite places to go. So we thought, hey, let's just stop and see if there's anything in there. Can anybody guess where we are? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Post office, baby! Oh, yeah! Fan mail! Yeah! <laughs> let's go check it out. Sweet hugs you're getting there, Mom. I haven't been here in a while. I've not been part of Fan Mail in quite some time, actually. And thank you to those of you who have said, I wish Brandon could be part of Fan Mail, because today I'm going to be part of it, baby. Two for bricks. Oh my gosh, you guys, are there more keys? Oh my yeah. gosh. <gasps> oh, look at that letter. Look at that letter. Letter. We don't feature those as much, you guys, but I love getting letters, because it's so sweet to read the things that you guys write. And a written letter is so rare these days. I just love it. All right, guys, how many keys did we get? We had one, six. two, three, four, five. We got six. And they I think we needed the wagon on this one. All right, guys, here's our first one. Let's do it. We got number 23. What's in there? Oh. <laughs> here goes Hazy on the first one. Hazy, do it. Okay, now turn it that way. Pull hard. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Ooh. This is Kirby's key he can't reach, so mom will use her little height. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and that's Brexton's present. Thank you, Ragai, for getting out Brexton's present. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really cool package. Hey, we got one more package in here. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> okay, we actually have a few more to go, guys. Here we go. This one's taking some teamwork here. Mom's got Brexton. Excuse me. 
make sure you put Open the air. <laughs> here, I'll put it in there and we'll turn. There you go, give it a pull, everybody. Okay. Whoa. Here we go, right here. Ooh, whoa, you guys, I think that's gonna be oh, no, do not a picture. Bend. Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa, that's a special one. This one has sparked my curiosity. I know, I am so curious to know what's in that. Guys, I'm so excited to be part of a fan mail. It's been a very long time since I've been able to do that. What do you guys say we open all this stuff tonight? You guys want to? Yeah. Okay, let's no. do it. Guess what? I have not been here for a fam mail opening in a very long time. But as luck would have it, we were coming back from the walk today. We're right by the post office. So we said, hey, let's stop by and see what we've got. And we've got some awesome fan mail. So I get to be part of it today and I could not be more excited. Now, I've been taking notes on how mom does this, the way she lines out the packages, she pre-opens them. She's gotten really good at this system. So I'm just following her footsteps today. She's gone for the night. So it's just me and the kids. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna kick things off with some fan mail openings. So who's ready to get started with this? Me! I know Brex is, I know Hazy is, and these guys are ready. Okay, so real quick, I just wanna run down where these are from, okay? This one, from Hannah Fowler. Waffle. Hazy's gonna open this one. Ella Eddie. Brexy's gonna open this one. Stacy Bankhead. And Rag Guy's opening this one from the Bells. It just says Bells, I think. So, if you guys are ready to open your first fan mail packages of Saturday, yeah. set, go! <laughs> a nurse, oh my goodness, cotton candy, oh, letter, thank you, card, 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 thank you, card, right here. Oh, these have names on them, that says crew. This is for me, this one's, hey, Lazzy, where are you, buddy? Sorry, we get a little loud when we do this, but look, this one's for you. That one's for you, buddy. We'll open those later, okay? Okay, hold on, is that everything in that one? Yeah. Okay, hold on, there's more to come with that one, there's a bunch of those red boxes right there. Cotton candy stuff. birthday party. Wait, what? For one of our subscribers. You guys, Rai Guy just got invited to a birthday party. How incredibly sweet Yay! and wonderfully kind was that? Rexy has Yay! cotton candy for days. Here we do. You still have a package unopened there. Open that up, baby. What? What? Guys, these are so nicely packaged with their like bubble wrap and stuff. Everything's so safe. That looks hilarious. Open that up. What is it? Guys, I want to open mine like this second, but I'm trying to video here and not be distracted. Oh. Mine, I can already see calling my name. Oh my gosh. A Dairy Milk Cadbury. It's got delicious, those amazing like Smarty Candies inside of milk chocolate. Are you kidding me? Exploding, popping jelly candies. This bar, are you kidding me? Look at that thing. That was custom made for me. Thank you so much. Could we do? What is this thing? A squeeze popper air powered oh dude you squeeze this dude and it shoots these balls up to 20 feet it shoots his eyeball out for like 20 feet in one of the boxes we had all of this cotton candy flavoring and i cannot wait to try that out it also came with a lovely car that i'm going to try and open while videoing i don't know how mom does this one second being a family thank you for sharing all your monkey business and your wonderful life and family and there's a lot of monkey business in fact as you guys know our family is pretty much the right mix of chaos and love, which is a lot of monkey business. We can feel your love for one another through the screen and thank you for being examples of sincerely Stacy Bankhead. Thank you, Stacy. We also had another letter in here that Hazy opened. Yay! This is a cute letter that Hazy opened and I wanna show this to you guys because it's kinda cute. This is from Ella and she says, Dear Binghams, I'm Ella, I'm in the fourth grade, I love your videos and my mom does too. Thank you so much, Ella, that is so cute and we love that you watch our videos and with your mom too. Either alone or with family, we love it when you guys are able to get together as a family and watch our videos. We actually ran into another subscriber today who watches the videos with her husband and they have a good family night doing it and we love that. Amazing round one. Let's break out these next round of packages and see what we got. Two more boxes from Hannah Fowler today. So we got two boxes, three total from her and they're individually wrapped. So we went ahead and opened that box and we've given the kids the individually wrapped packages here and they're gonna open them and Crew actually has the card because he already opened his. So he has the card from Hannah. So we're gonna open that. In fact, let's start with that, Crew. Do you wanna open that first? Yeah. Oh, wow, what a pretty card. Oh, guys, look, it's a kitty on a boat. Hazy, look. A kitty on a boat, you see it? Wow guys, this is so special. It says, Dear Binghams, I hope this parcel finds you well. I have never posted anything to America before, so who knows if it will reach you. And it reached us, and it was safe, and it was very well bubble wrapped. Everything came in perfect condition. It says, as a teacher, I love watching your vlogs. They provide a fascinating daily insight into how children learn and navigate the world, even on the other side of the globe. And I love that. That is so cool that we have this international audience, you guys. I feel like we have so many people from other countries all around the world who watch these vlogs, and that is incredible to me, that in today's technology through the power of the internet that we can share our lives with people literally around the world.
Hannah, thank you so much for this sweet card. We're gonna go ahead and let the kids unleash on these package. We really appreciate you sending this stuff over. Guys, are you ready? Three, two, one, send it. Still gonna oh, send it. You wanna help Hazy? Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh it's a unicorn! Should we try and open it? Yeah! Oh, it's a shark! A shark? We got candy flying all over the table. Hazy also has some cute clothes in here. It's a unicorn, and if you squeeze it, it shoots rainbow. Oh my gosh, this unicorn shoots rainbows out of his mouth. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Hazy girl, that's for you. We can have a battle. Oh, guys, let's break out these poppers and have a battle. It shoots 20 feet, we can shoot them all the way across the room. Oh, and look at this cute unicorn outfit. Oh my gosh. I mean, Hazy got this. Oh my gosh, and you got like a dog, a bulldog, and Raya got a shark. Oh my goodness, you guys. Dreaming of being a unicorn, Hazy. This is a full unicorn theme for Hazy, and I kind of love unicorns. I say we move on to the big box for Brexy. We kind of already know what this is. This is another one from Sean, one of our subscribers who sent the kids those, if you remember those scooter ramps for jumping that one of our subscribers, Sean, sent us, and if you haven't checked it out, I'll link that vlog for you guys where you can see where we unbox that, and the kids freak out. It is awesome. So he has now sent a follow-up. After watching that vlog, he sent a follow-up package here for Brexy. Big blue package here from Walmart. You can see right there. <laughs> Brexy Doodle is about to open his very own fan mail package. Brexton, are you ready? Get set, open. What is it, guys? What? What is it, Brexy? A minion scooter. Is it a scooter? Oh, what? Whoa, you guys, this is a nice one. This is heavy. Holy cow. Dude, look at the quality of this Minion scooter. So let me tell you what happened now. Sean saw, this is a different Sean, not Uncle Sean. He saw your video where you guys were on the scooter jumps and your scooter was, yeah, your scooter was kind of crappy and broken. And he saw that and he felt bad that you had a broken crappy scooter and your brothers had really nice new scooters. And so he went and bought you a new scooter and sent it to you. Can you believe that, dude? Thank you, we love you. <laughs> Rex is a little bit more of a shy guy, but I promise you on the inside, he's freaking out. He is so grateful for this because seriously, when the kids go out on scooters, he doesn't have a scooter to ride because his is completely broken. This one is gonna be great. He's gonna love it and he's gonna be able to ride it all the time with his brothers. So thank you so much, Sean. I'm not really sure how mom does this. I feel like when there's a package for me, she still opens it, but this one seems like, I feel like this is just very specific to Minnie. So I'm gonna leave this for her and let her open it. This is another package from Lori Williams in Oklahoma. So I'm gonna leave this for mom. She's gonna be able to open this tonight. We're gonna set this one aside and not open it right now. And then there's one more package that actually we've been super curious about. You saw how curious we got at the post office about it because it's flat, flat, flat and says photos do not bend and it's completely flat. I'm just trying to figure out what this would be. So we're gonna go ahead and open that right now. This is from the Rogers family in Payson, Utah. So right here in Utah. So let's check it out and see what they sent us. Right guy, will you do me a favor and pull that back Ooh. Oh, look at that hashtag. This is how we bring them right on the card. Okay, let's do card first before I reveal what's underneath this piece of paper. Nice card. I love that design. It says, Dear Bingham family, I really enjoy watching your awesome family each and every day. Your kids are the cutest ever. What, these kids? Look at that. This? That? Okay, that maybe. <laughs> I enjoyed your house tour, it's a beautiful home. Thank you, we're standing in the middle of it right now. Not quite as clean as when we did the house tour. If you guys haven't checked out the house tour, you gotta go watch it because mom cleaned it up really nice for like a day, it was really good. It says, my husband takes beautiful photos as a hobby. Here's a little something for your empty walls if you'd like, your YouTube friend, Sonia. Should we see what we have here? And reveal it, oh, it's not, it's in an envelope. I thought it was like a sheet. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Set, go. Oh, tricked ya, still is covered. Okay, are you guys ready? Oh, whoa. whoa. Dude, that's a waterfall. What is that? Is that Bridalboat Falls? No, maybe that, that could be Grove Creek? I don't know. Oh, what? What? Through fall leaves at that mountain peak? Are you kidding me? That's so Look at the colors in that it thing, you guys. Like oh, it's the temple. This is the Timpanogos Temple. This is so close to us. And then, oh my sunset, wow. Those are some stunning pictures, and I definitely think that there's gonna be a place on our walls for at least one, if not all of those. Those are incredible, thank you so much. So I know mom has a system where she sends out personalized thank yous to everybody who sends in fan mail, and I mean everybody. So if you haven't got one, maybe message us, because sometimes there's not a return address, or sometimes in the hustle of getting all the packages open, an address might be thrown away, but we wanna make sure we send everybody a personalized thank you, because we appreciate so much the time and energy and the thought that it takes to pick something out, to buy it, to wrap it up, to package it, to address it to us, to take it to the post office, and to send it to here, sometimes across the country, sometimes down the 
the street. But whatever it is, the effort is so much appreciated. And so we want to send you guys a thank you. If you haven't gotten one and you've sent us a piece of fan mail, please message us. But I hope I've got this system right. I've got things stacked up over here with addresses, where it all came from. And we usually don't touch it until mom's been able to write the thank yous to make sure that we don't lose them. But guys, there is one thing that we always do when we finish up a fan mail before we move on to the next part of our day. Does everybody know what it is? Thank you, we love you, Brixie Dab! <laughs> Where did that even go? <laughs> Squeeze hard. Oh, he did one. You wanna do it to the song? Yeah. Okay, I'll turn the song back on. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's been resurrecting his old Metallica. Sorry. <laughs> we have had a lot of fun tonight. We haven't done the mutt. What is that? We haven't done a lot. We haven't done much. We haven't done anything like super crazy cool because it's raining outside. We've just been indoors, kind of doing some fun things. We actually were on our way to go buy a Nintendo Switch tonight because we really wanted to play Mario Kart. Turns out, I guess you can't really buy those in stores. Those are like an online order only thing. So, but what we did find is that our Apple TV will actually play our games on the iPhone on the movie screen. So, we didn't go get our Nintendo Switch. We didn't get to play Mario Kart, but we did get to have some fun tonight. We're gonna. <laughs> Brexit is just dabbing out of control lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, these guys are insane! So we're playing some fun games here in the movie theater. Mom's still out having a great time. We're here on a wet, cold night. We're wrapping up the day, but we have a very special announcement to make. And I was going to wait until tomorrow to make the announcement, and then the vlog would come out on Monday. The thing that we're announcing happens Monday night. So if you didn't watch the vlog early on Monday, you'd miss the announcement. So I'm gonna give it to you now, and then we'll go into more detail on Monday's vlog, which we'll record tomorrow. On Monday night, this coming Monday, we're going to be on the Ohana Adventures Monday Night Live. And for those of you who don't know what that is, they are a massive YouTube channel that's here locally in Utah, and every Monday night, they do a live stream from their front room where you play games, you have fun, sometimes you sing songs, I don't know if they know how bad we are at singing. And you just have a great time for like 30 minutes, and it's streamed live on YouTube on their channel. So the channel is the Ohana Adventure, and to tune into that live stream, you're gonna wanna be there at four o'clock mountain time, so that's our time. So that's like three o'clock on the west coast, and two o'clock on the east coast, and everything else in between. But 4 p.m. Mountain Time, Utah Time, we will be streaming live from the Ohana's, well, they're actually the Bennett's, but from the Ohana Adventures living room on a YouTube Live from Monday Night Live. We are so psyched about that. There's gonna be a lot more details to come in tomorrow's vlog, but I wanted to make sure I got I, Wait up. But I wanted to make sure I got that announcement out now for anybody who might not see the vlog in time because it's happening Monday at 4. So if you watch the vlog at night, you might have already missed it. And I don't want anybody to miss it because it's going to be a ton of fun. You guys will have to go over there and check it out. We will, of course, vlog the experience and bring you some of the behind the scenes the following day. But it'll be fun to see us live. As you guys know, we are not phenomenal at live. We don't do live a lot, but we sure like it. It's sure fun to try. So we're going to be doing that Monday night at the Bennett's house, the Ohana Adventure. Check them out on YouTube. They're huge and awesome. They just did a Taylor Swift parody video that is exploding. Millions and millions and millions of views going super viral it is hilarious it's amazing so well done can't wait to talk to them about that and how they pulled that off we might have something similar coming up Shh, that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying that's it dad thank you we love you thank you we love you we sure do good night everybody bye i point bye. a lot yeah yeah <laughs>